Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. This was a story that I didn't, I took a minute to decide if I was going to do it uh, because of the hideous nature of, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, when You do things like tell your little son that he's the man of the house and you, uh, and I'm not saying that this was the case that happened here. Let's get this straight. And if I knew the young man's name, there's no way in the world I could release it simply because uh, he's a minor. I told you a lot that I woke with a lot of families who were in crisis here in Milwaukee and usually have the same MO. Unfortunately, um, a lot of women not having a father figure or the right real male role model involved in their child life. He's got on earrings and his little earrings and his little hair plaited and Mothers are telling them that they're the head of the house. They're the man of the house, and they're only four and five years old. So, little pants sagging, dressing them like he's a young man, like he's a little young thug, I should say. And I've watched too many of these young men grow up and become just enemies of themselves and their community. Um, I want to, I think I did a video about Jurgis, who was beaten down on a bus stop by children. I think the oldest one was 11, 12, with two by fours. And these children, as, as they should, be charged with the severity of the crime that they committed. Now, would I give a 12-year-old or a 10-year-old life in prison? Now, that might be a little different. But at the end of the day, there's certain things that you can do to enhance this type of behavior where your son ends up with no respect for you and nobody else, especially you, because you give him everything. And then the minute you say no, again, I'm not saying that this is the case here. I wouldn't dare do that. But I must say some things because I witness and I bear witness to children with this type of behavior so much that it was burning me out. I was like, "Uh uh-uh. No, 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 no. Because, see, some of these parents are going to have to eat their young. Some of y'all, I'm not going to fill them. If it was mine, I'm not going to fill them full of medicine. And keep pumping him, pumping him till he become a psychotic. Uh-uh. That's just my belief. Okay? Either I have to stick him in a facility and um, where he'll have to make him a ward of the state. And the hardest thing is for us to realize that some of our young just have to be eaten. And who's best to eat it than the mother? Okay? Now, you can do whatever you want to do with that information. So, But let me give you this story. Because this is so disgusting, y'all. A 10-year-old boy has been charged with first-degree homicide as an adult 
after allegedly murdering his mother after she refused to buy him an expensive virtual reality headset off of Amazon. Now, according to the people, the child whose name is being withheld shot his 44-year-old mother, Kiana Mann, in the eye at point-blank range inside of their Milwaukee home on November 21st. He assessed his mother's firearm after use, um, after using the keys. He accessed his mother's firearm after using her keys to retrieve the weapon from a locked safe before committing the crime. Now, afterwards, he first attempted to hide the gun before later in, later informing his older sister that their mother was dead. After which the cops were notified. The child initially told police that he accidentally shot his mother and that the incident was unintentional. However, relatives later informed authorities of their suspicion that foul play may have been involved. While questioning the child, a female relative claims he told her that he aimed the gun directly at his mother before discharging the weapon. After further questioning, the child admitted to being upset at his mother for waking him up early, as well as her refusal to purchase the video game accessory that he requested. According to the family, the suspect reportedly battled with rage issues throughout his life and would regularly hold conversations with multiple imaginary people. He had recently received a disturbing diagnosis from a therapist regarding his mental health and had a history of disturbing incidents, including violence against animals. His ass would have been put away because he was a time bomb waiting to happen. I'm sorry if I sound insensitive, but it is what it is. He's always said he hears voices, said this uh, suspect's grandmother, Luritha Mann. We tried helping her with him. All of us, everybody knows her, even her church people. We all tried helping her with him because we knew he had a mental illness. The child has since been taken into custody and is facing first-degree reckless homicide and being held on a $50,000 bail. If convicted, he faces a maximum sentence of 60 years in prison. The victim's family has created a GoFundMe to accept donations for the late mother's funeral expenses. The account has amassed 11425 as of the time, press time, with a goal of 20,000. Man who worked in behavioral health survived by four, is survived by four children and is said to have had a spirit of giving and a love for God that shines so brightly that it superseded any pain that she may have experienced. Uh, my heart goes out to the man family Elder man and all the rest of the man's, um, because this right here, uh -uh. I am totally devastated by uh, this particular story. And um, sometimes, like I said, we don't want to believe that our children can be capable of doing something like that. I often refer to the young man who couldn't thought that his mother treated his sister better than she treated him. And he took a skeleton key when she went in her room, locked her first. Yeah, no, before he did that, he took lighter fluid and poured it on her floor. And she didn't see it. She said, what are you doing? What? And then he set the room on fire. Now, 
the mother uh, was was trying to break in back into the room, and he and the sister was inside the door. Remember, she's hollering inside because the room is on fire. And he goes downstairs and sits down as if nothing has happened. Uh huh. He ultimately ended up running, uh, running down um, the boulevard without any clothes on, escaping from this facility. Say the millions. Um, some of y'all have really messed y'all kids up real bad. And whether you did it on purpose or whether you have no help, a lot of y'all don't want the help. And it's hard for you to even take advice when somebody tell you not to punch your child in the back in the, with your fist because you're frustrated. So, like Bernie Mac said, we got we got we got to get back to the big mama and the ones who know what's happening. They can see the handwriting on the wall. And if our young folks don't cooperate, then we have to put ourselves in a position where we can't be enablers to these type of children. I mean, it's just that not something that we should do. We, you know, now you do what you want to do, but this is, this, this could also end up happening to you. Anyway, this article was, is from a vibe and, um, by Preezy Brown. That's where the story come from. And again, my heart go out to, uh, Rihanna. And this little dude, see, because uh, it's there, it's a few of them out there, up and coming. And what y'all need to do is take the, them earrings out their ears, take them plaits out their head, stop letting them sag their pants, and roll blunts for you. Stop it. Because you create little monsters. And I'm out.